y'all. Coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV. But I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they were finishing up this 1957 Corvette I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Steve? Scotty, how are you, brother? <laughs> I'm worn out. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing better than you. I'm, I'm enjoying this nice weather now. It did. It cooled off just before the rain got here. Oh, goodness. Man, the last few weeks, it's humid, humid, and in the 90s, it was crazy. I'm telling you. Talk about hot. This Corvette's hot. Mm-hmm. I dig that, man. 1957 Chevy Corvette, convertible, wide body. It's a nice car. Um, it was built by B-Rod and Customs, Larry Burchett. They... Uh, widened it three inches you can't really tell it from just looking at it until you look at an original one beside it and then right. the, you can start seeing a big difference you can put the bigger wheels on it and things like that so it really looks good i like the i like the wide body it just gives you a little bit more of a muscle look and feel in that car that that's right really cool. yeah because of the early corvettes they you know they hadn't developed the attitude yet mm -hmm. so when you make one wide body and uh, you know a lot of people do the second gen c2s and on wide bodies mm -hmm. but you don't see a lot of wide body first generation c1s and i think birch had nailed it on these bodies yeah it looks good i'd, I'd drive it around cruise around in that convertible yeah it's got a ls uh three 495 horsepower motor in it Five-speed transmission? I mean, how could you go wrong? I got you. Now it's got a Holcomb <laughs> interior. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, we put, if you notice in the pictures, we did a little, it's it's a bright red, but we did a little bit of a two-tone red in it. Well, on the inserts of the, of the car, it's got a little bit darker shade of the red with a little bit of different grain in the leather. So we're just trying to do something a little bit different. It almost looks the same until you look at it in certain lots. Right. So the inserts of the seats and the inserts of the door panel and that little insert in the trunk panel with the LED lights in it, it's got just a little bit different contrast in the leather in there. It's not one of them that just stands out and it's in your face, but when you look at it, it's like, that looks a little different. And it, it was designed that way. We wanted something, the, the customer really wanted something a little different. The guy's name is Jimmy White, and he, he said, just take care of it. I want, you, I want something that nobody else has. And I hadn't seen anybody with a slightly two-toned red interior. No, you have to really be, uh aggressive to even try something like that yeah you know yeah because i mean you know you do a lot of two-tone tans or something like that you know, or you know black and silver or black whatever but when you do reds you got to be really careful that it don't yeah we didn't want the two reds to clash that's right what that's about. it right so yeah and then it's got the red line tires on it by diamondback tires i mean the red on the tires and the red on the interior it just all yeah. Can't beat a you black beat Corvette that. with a red leather interior in it. So you try to get it clean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pain to keep that thing clean. Of course, nope. it's got the Scots wheels on it and things like that. So it's it's really a nice car. And then the interior, you know, we of course we did a 3D door panel with um, LED lights in the door panels and in the trunk. You can pull the trunk panel out and it's got a little battery and stuff back here, or you know, this little brain box or whatever right. it is back here in the back. It's pretty easy accessible. There's not a whole lot of room in them cars. But man, they're just, they're just, you, it's a job to do one just because they're so small and everything, the door panels are like, you know, the door, their doors are not flat. They're like rounded, you know, they curve one way and curve the other way. Twisted. So, yeah. So, and that's from the factory. So when you go to make an interior, you got to make, you got to incorporate all that in with when you do the kick panels and door panels and everything to where when the door shut, it looks like it all is nice, clean and you know flows together you don't want it to look all warped so there's a lot of work into getting it to where it looks like it's supposed to yeah no kidding i dig it custom gauges and all that in them yeah yeah and then uh, yeah that gauge cluster I remember you remember when you asked me you said that can't be original is right. it? but yeah they have 57s had all that stuff all the way across there it's pretty insane. crazy and we, of course we put the black convertible top on it because uh, you got a black car in the so did you have to make a convertible top special because it was a wide body or did that same top work no actually that's the original convertible top frame so all the windows and everything worked just like it was was able to get a nice convertible black stay fast top from key auto tops and um, put it on it fits perfect looks good noah did an excellent job getting it put all together he does a good job on all of our tops. Now, did you widen the seats or make the seats deeper in this one too? It is, yeah. It's got the custom seats that actually Larry makes for us. We designed the seats right. and um, had Larry to make us custom fiberglass molds and foam them. And now it, it saves us a lot of work to have where we don't have to sit there and custom make each, every, each and every one of them. So you can buy a mold for that seat and the foam already ready to go. 
and if I've got time, you don't I, got time. Can, <laughs> I can cover them in leather and yeah. stuff. But you know, it's uh, it, it it makes that thing where it's comfortable to drive. You sit all the way down on it, and it's set all the way back so that you can actually have a little bit of room because the factory ones had no room at all with the big seats in it. Just was not drivable. But now with those seat pods and the foam and stuff, you can actually sit in it, enjoy it, and drive it and have a good time in it. Well, like you said, I think I'd buy one of these and drive it about every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anybody else we need to give a shout out to? What about the boys that do all the work? No. Yeah, we got nine guys working for us. Uh, Garrett sewed up all the seats and stuff, does an excellent job in all the French team. I think he does a better job French teaming than I do now. So. I'm glad to hear that. Heck, yeah. I'm glad to hear it, too. All right. And Noah does a great job on the convertible top. So I'm teaching my sons how to do this to where, you know, we can all work together and get these things done a little faster. Right on. I like to hear that. Oh, yeah. Because you know the people like them when I come out here at <laughs> Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors because they know they're going to see something cool. And then, of course, Tim always does a great job on door panels and consoles and things like that. So I've got a good group of guys. Will Hudson does a great job. He's uh, he's doing good. So I I'm tickled with all of them. They're, they're doing great. We'd give Dick a shout out if he'd have showed up to work today. <laughs> Richard does good. Yeah, I know. It's actually Richard's birthday, and I decided uh, I decided a year or so ago to give everybody give everybody the day off on their birthday with pay. So man, I'm gonna have to come work for you, I heard Steve. That. No, I think y'all killed it. <laughs> thank you, Scotty. I appreciate it very much. No, thank you, brother. So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very cool 1957 Chevrolet Corvette. Hope y'all enjoyed it. See. Ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.